So uh, this week's question, how many points are we going to get out of the last 12 games? I'm confident with six, could possibly get 10. Yeah, so Liverpool away, Bobo, nothing. Don't get, we're going to get hammered up there. Could be five up there. And if they're really on song, could be 10. I reckon they'll really make us a mockery. Um, Southampton at home, I reckon we can get three points out of that. Hard work, but we'll get three points out of that. Gooners away, Bobo. We can be 17 nil up with one minute to go and we'll lose 18 17. Dot on the card. They've got the Udo over us. You know, they get the rub of the green, they get the decisions, and they win. That's some fault she is. Wolves play all right, don't they? They're doing pretty good. Their butt's better football inside than us. They'll make fools of us at the back, fools. Then we have those um, people from North London, our um, wonderful neighbours. Um, and they're going to stick a few passes, I reckon. Could be a feisty game, but I don't think we've really got to fight for it. You know, and I don't think Noble can G the team up to go against Spurs. I just don't think, you know, there's something gone wrong within the team and the dressing room there. There isn't any fight, what I see. And that's obviously a massive game for us, isn't it? The noisy neighbour and all that malarkey. So, uh, unfortunately, there. Yeah. And then Chelsea. Um, Lampard will stick himself on the bench, returning manager when he come on and score a couple of goals. Won't get Bob out of that. They'll take the mickey out of us. You know, they will, won't they? They're playing better football than us. The returning manager, it's always um, a jinx for us. That happens every time. Newcastle away, we could get a point up there. Burnley at home. You know, um, they play good football. Burnley at home. You know, Draw, if we win, that would be a bonus, but I think could see them turning us over because they battle and they're hard working and they're strong, you know, battlers in the midfield and we ain't got anyone like that. The Norwich away, we could get something there. We could get something at Norwich away. We could definitely get there. Um, Watford, I think Watford will beat us at home. I do surely think they will beat us. He's got them well good. He's got them playing well. Atkins and that Troy Deeney, he'll knock them fools at the back around. You know, he will um, boss them because he is that sort of player. He's physical. Yeah, gives a little bit of argy bargy. Um, it's all right. He's good. United away. Bob out again. Absolute Bob out. Just kiss that one by. And then Villa at home. We can do Villa at home. But, um, you know, he may be all over body. I'm sorry. I am a bit pessimistic about it, you know, just because the body language that I see when they're playing and all that, no one seems to be up for the fight but we are aren't we and so uh, all we can do is live it out and cheer them on because we can't kick that football because if we did we'd win every game wouldn't we well oh. so um just one more thing any mug can wear their colors when you're winning any mug can wear, do that and that's what spurs do wear your colors with pride real fans wear your colors when your team's doing rubbish and that's what's happening with us so wear your colours with pride. All right? Keep smiling. Up the hammers. Come on, you are. Hey, it's Adam here from the West Ham's Why You Drink podcast. Just got off the football pitch myself. Um, and we lost abysmally, just like West Ham usually do. Uh, this week's a tough one. It required a lot more thought than normal. Um, how many points do I think we're going to get? I reckon we're going to pick up 14 points from now to the end of the season, which would put us on 38. But I think that it's a big moment for the club, the fact that we've got like three weeks off without a game. Um, you know, the Man City game being rescheduled can only help us because we got to hope that now it'll be rearranged for a time where they're going to rest players for a club competition. Hopefully they'll have wrapped up second in the league by then um, and we can play their reserve team where we could get something out of the game. Um, we still have to play all of the teams around us, you know, I mean, if we beat Norwich, Watford and Villa, who we have to all play, um, they're six pointers. I know it's a cliche thing to say, but it comes down to our results against those teams. Um, if we can beat all of those, I think we'll be fine um, and we'll pick a few more points up here and there. Uh, I do think that this is a great opportunity for our players to get fit. Um, it's a shame that we come out of this break playing Liverpool 
Um, but it's a tired Liverpool team. They've played a lot of games. They've wrapped up the league already, let's be honest. So it's not even impossible that we'll get something out of that. Um, but obviously, I'm not delusional. It's not that likely. Um, but I really think that we've got a chance to get our players fit. Jared Bowen um, is a great player for us. He's going to be. He's really going to make a big difference. I think. I hope he hits the ground running. Um, and you know, usually we sign these players at the end of the window, and they don't have time to gel. You know, the way that this has worked out is that they've got plenty of time. Moyes has got time to get a new system. Let's hope he plays a four-three-three, puts the players in the positions that they're best at. You know, a layer up in a front three, um, and when we shape up against Liverpool. Maybe, just maybe, my fingers are crossed that we've worked on a new system and we actually play some decent football. The season's still good. We can still get something out of this. It's very, very close. Uh, I mean, you know, there are 11 points between us in 18th and Manchester United in 8th. So there's a long way to go. I'm not worried yet. Come on, you Irons. Um, right, so this week's question is uh, how many points do I think we'll get in the uh, in the last running this season, and uh, I'm going to pick 11 to 19. But the funny thing is, you ask the majority of West Ham fans who have seen it, you know, been there, done that, seen it throughout the years, will know that we always get up for the big boys. We always, when you know, going get his tough when he gets to top six clubs, the club and the, the players and the fans always just get up for these sort of games. So maybe it's a bit of a blessing in disguise, to be fair. Uh, I'm not City and Liverpool right offs, but I think City can be beaten even if they're away. Uh, I'm not too sure how the fact that the game was postponed just today um, is going to affect the team, but that would be uh, interesting to uh, wait and see. But I don't think we'll be relegated. I just can't see us being relegated. Maybe it's blind faith, but for some reason I just I just don't see it. And uh, maybe it's just me going, there's, there's no way we can be relegated because it'd be an absolute disaster for the club. That's in my opinion if it does happen. But I think, um, yeah, this is a make or break. I'm not really worried, worried about fixtures. There's no point in being worried. Um, you know, for me, I'm, I've got no energy to be worried anymore. I just want the players to do the business and just show some fight. Just give these games a go, which I'm sure they will do. Um, I don't want us to go to like Liverpool and go, oh, well, they're going to beat us. Let's just lay down and get beaten. Let's give it a go, you know, just give it a shot. Let's, let's, let's have a never say die attitude and, you know, you never know what can happen. So between 11 to 19 to me, but uh, get more than that. No worries.